All right, so before I start this video, first and foremost, this is not something that I really ever wanted to put out there. Uh, it's a fun concept and it's kind of cool to talk about, but in general, I do not advise guys use this tactic or use any of the things I talk about in this video. It's more just for understanding female psychology a little bit better. Secondly, this is not for all girls, okay? So as I say this I'm, and I go down the line, uh, it's not for every girl. Not every girl is gonna be like this, okay? And, and the way you can sense this is depending on how much they do some self-lying. So if you're talking to a girl and she says she has a boyfriend or she says a myriad of different things, maybe she doesn't even tell you she has a boyfriend and you have to find out through her friends or maybe you never know. Maybe she had a boyfriend and she never told you. Uh, a lot of girls will still emotionally cheat on their boyfriend, they'll flirt with you and they'll act a certain way. And it's up to you to actually play this the right way if you wanted to ultimately end up in bed with her. All right. Now, a lot of guys, they, they look at this in, in a logical way because as most men are, we're very logical. Yes, we do have an emotional side to us and yes, we also can self-lie. This is, this is not something that's specific to women, but women, for whatever reason, can do this on a greater level than men can. I've seen a lot of women self-lie and use this as an excuse to go home with a guy, to sleep with somebody, um, to make a decision that as most men in her shoes would never be able to make. And it's, it almost doesn't make sense, the way that, that I've seen girls act in comparison to the way that a guy would. And it's, it's pretty crazy. But if you, if you wanted to, you could play this the right way to actually ultimately get in bed with her despite the fact that she has a boyfriend. Now, a girl that is a very healthy-minded, uh, smart individual, somebody that has some internal awareness, this tactic will not work with her. Now, on the other hand, a low self-esteem girl, somebody that has a myriad of <laughs> bad relationships in the past, this is the kind of girl that will be most likely to do this. All right, so let's go down the line. So how can you tell when a girl's like this? Now, I've had a lot of girls first thing tell me early on that they have a boyfriend. Now, when they do this, uh, for the most part, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys the truth. When I, when I hear a girl say this, I'm actually 100% okay with it. I, I love having making more friends. So when it does come down to where a girl tells me that she has a boyfriend, I'm like, cool, I need more friends. I'm totally down with this. Are you from here? Where are you up to? And I started like actually coming from a place of trying to create that kind of connection, but I'm not doing it from a wussy place. I'm not doing it from a place of making myself more supplicating. I do it from a place that's masculine, fun, free, uh, joking the same way I would with another male, another male friend. I, I would still act like the popular guy, even though she's in that situation. Now, <laughs> if I'm in a, if I'm talking to my friend's girlfriend or something like that, and maybe, um, in a like, and he, you know, I'm, I'm very close to the guy. Obviously, this is not the way I would act with her specifically because I wouldn't want to make my friends feel a certain way. And also, too, I'm not trying to like obviously pick up his girlfriend. But this energy, in in general, you don't have to actually verbalize or speak in a way that actually gets the girl chased to you. So a lot of you guys are always thinking like, how can I tactically get the girl into me? By acting like the exception to the rule, like I've talked about in so many different videos, you don't even have to verbalize sexual attraction. The girl's going to chase you regardless if you guys act the way that I've talked to you guys about in the previous videos. So if you guys haven't seen those videos, I'll put a link into the different videos that you guys can check out down below. So I'm not gonna get into that too much, but act like this kind of guy, the exception to the rule. And regardless, the girl's gonna chase you. It's, it's just, attraction is not a choice. So if you're an attractive individual and you act a certain way, the girl will chase you. Now, coming from this headspace, now the girl's gonna do one of two things when you act like this. She's either one, actually one of three things. One. She's going to act very distant and almost flat. She's not going to give you any emotions back. This is a very loyal girl. That's the kind of girl that's pretty fucking dope. Number two, the girl's going to actually be friendly with you and take it at face value that you just want to make friends. Again, another loyal girl. Now, the third type of girl is going to be very still act in a flirty way, but the subtext, the way that she's speaking is as if she was like treating you like a, like a, like a friend, but the subtext is that she's flirting with you. What does this look like? This looks like Bambi eyes. This looks like laughing over the top. This looks like her supplicating or her giving you an energy that you would see if you're about to make out with a girl. I've seen this a lot. And this comes from a place of her lacking internal locus of control. So the girl has this and she's acting this way. This is a girl that you can actually use these tactics on. Now let's go down the line. So what do you use and how do you do this? Now, if you're sensing the third energy, the third one, this is how you, how you'd react to it. So speak as if you're speaking on a teleprompter. All right, now act as if like you were in a deposition in front of a judge and you were saying all the right things to look like a friend, to act like a friend, but in the subtext, 
you have that sexual energy. But put out an energy, similar energy to what she's giving you. But now because on a, as if you took this, the conversation itself on a teleprompter, if the girl's boyfriend was to ask, she's like, no, this is legitimately what we said. This is verbatim what we said. But the emotional context gets, gets ignored because she can self lie about this and be like, no, it was absolutely just us being friends. However, the subtext was different. The energy underneath was different. And that's the way that you can actually win a girl like this over. Now, here's the thing, the entire conversation through, you are just friends. When her friends come around, they're like, what are you doing? What are you doing flirting with this guy? You're like, no, we're just friends. We're just like having fun. Now, guess what? The friend's like, oh, okay. And they run off. They can now self-light to themselves that they were like being good friends. They can still go out and have fun. Now, you do not want to make any moves until you are in private. And when you're with a girl like this, getting in private is a lot easier than you would think. Now, time is comfort. Time is attraction. Stay with her. Keep consistent to the exception to the rule type guy. Stay with her for a couple hours, three hours. Now, as time kind of alleviates a lot of concerns as she gets more comfortable around you, as she gets more attracted to you, girls get turned on like a dial as opposed to like a light switch like guys. So the longer you're hanging out with her, the more she's going to get turned on, turned on, turned on. She'll backwards rationalize more and more the feeling she's feeling. Now you need a reason to get her to private. Find somewhere that like is near your place that you guys can meet up at and be like, hey dude, I'm not ready to, I'm not done yet uh, having fun. Let's go meet here. Oh wait, there's no, this place is closed, but there's drinks at my place. <laughs> actually don't say your place. Say I actually have drinks. Uh, next door here, follow me, take her to your place, and then the deal is done. It's closed. Now, I'm gonna teach you guys a few other tactics that you can use in this case that actually are very helpful in regards to like closing a girl like this. So even though she says she has a boyfriend, do not bring him up throughout the conversation. You don't want to constantly throw it in her face that she has a boyfriend. This is actually something you want to ignore. So the way the brain works is, is that it's like it, it connects thoughts together. So like, let's say that you talked about the color blue and now what's the next thing you think of? Maybe the ocean, maybe you think about the sky, maybe you think about, you know, your baby blue eyes. You think about all these different things that are all attached to this one idea. So avoid conversations that remind her of her boyfriend and avoid the conversation of her boyfriend together because you don't want to remind her what she's actively doing. You want to act as if like, all right, cool. We got the boyfriend thing out of the way. Now we're just homies. We're friends hanging out, but the sexual undertone is right there. Now, here's some of the energies too that might help you guys out in regards to this. Um, you are masculine, free flowing and wild. You're the wild stallion. You're the guy that can't be controlled. You're wild. You're just having fun. You're being stupid. You're, uh, you're, you, you want to basically give off the energy that makes her want to like hit you on the chest and be like, stop it. No, stop doing that. That's the energy you want. If you're getting that energy across, she is going to want to fuck you. She's going to find you massively attractive. Now, again, act as if you're on a teleprompter. Okay. This is not like it's the, the way that self line works is, is that basically the easier you make it for her to self lie, the more likely she will be to cheat on her dude. Now, again, this is not me actually advocating that you do this. This is more a case study. I've had a lot of times where I've seen girls do this. And now let me give you a few examples. I had one time where I slept with a girl and because I didn't kiss her, she figured she didn't cheat on her boyfriend. And another time where I was pulling f with a client and I was with a girl and I ended up finger banging her in the hallway and making out with her because she was outside of her friends, which then she came back and started cock blocking the crap out of my friend because she felt guilty on some level. Uh, again, there's another girl that said she didn't cheat. I had another girl that I had sex with in the missionary and she stops me and goes, wait, I can't do this. I have a boyfriend. And because she stopped me in missionary, she didn't actually, she didn't actually cheat on her boyfriend. Um, girls, like they'll, they'll find a reason, like girls that are like this, they'll find a reasoning and a reason to that they didn't cheat. And they'll, they'll find like all these different excuses so they don't have to tell their boyfriend about this. It's, it's, um, it, 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 it's, all right. You have a, a, a self-lying function yourself too. Try to find this in your own life where you've done this and you'll be able to understand this a lot better if you get that internal awareness. Cause if you build that internal awareness of when you're self-lying and you catch yourself doing it like, oh, that is like when this happens with this girl. That's like when this happens with a situation. Um, you don't, want to like so if the girl's like allow the help the girl out with the self-lying okay and in regards to like when she's like oh we're not cheating i'm like dude yeah we're just homies we're friends yeah it's not a big deal no dude come on you can hang out with me and not not be a big deal if you if you if you actually if you know what she's how she's self-lying in her head and you go with it it makes it a lot easier for you to close the deal now again this is a case study this is more just like um to help you guys out with understanding the female psychology if you guys are watching this to do this I do not advise sleeping with these girls. These are also the kind of girls that will falsely accuse you of doing things to them that you didn't do if you hurt their feelings in the wrong way. They're gonna call the cops and you say you raped them. They're gonna say that you hit them. They're gonna say that you did things you didn't do and they're gonna self-lie to the point to where they believe you did this. And guess what? You're in a jail cell. So 
These girls are very volatile and very dangerous. So even though I did like help you guys out with understanding this kind of psychology and watching out for these kind of girls, make sure you're very, very careful when you do run across these kind of girls because they can do things to hurt you in the long term. And this is something I don't want for any of my viewers. So if you guys are watching this video, be very careful if you do find a girl that has a self-lying function because they can do some really fucked up things to you. Now, with that being said, if you guys were interested in doing a boot camp with me, I do them all in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, if you guys are interested in doing a boot camp, message me at the phone number below, BCAMP, and we'll get a date scheduled. All right, now with that being said, peace. Best at what I know, better than the rest, just watch me grow. Put me to the test and watch me go. This is my quest, I'ma make it known. They call me obsessive, oh I know. Call me selective with my notes. Call me aggressive with my flow. Call me offensive even though. Don't we ain't gonna lie, life's tough. Try to get by, life's rough. Try to do it by it's not enough even though you